Maya, Maya. Um, try a little, try that other one. The other anthill. Yeah, we'll just try the other the probe. Oh, see the if probe. That's the amazing probe. the sound in there. You can just hear yeah. the work going yeah. on. Yeah. That's extraordinary. And this is a different kind of probe. Yeah. It's What's the same this kind do? of mic, but th there's just a little, uh, little skewer on it. It's, yeah, it's interesting the difference. Does the different location make a different sound? That's actually a spider climbing up around it now. You could hear the spider? Yeah. It's in there somewhere. Oh my god, you can! Oh, that's amazing! He's there somewhere, we'll try and get him walking by again. You can hear the spider, that is cool. There he is, he's gone there now. That. That's great, Ben. We can loop that, you know. Yeah. And that's, yeah. Um, yeah. No, you that know, even really a minute good. is that's great. That last bit is lovely, bottom yeah. end in it, too. Um, yeah. Yeah, some little ladybirds crawling up the leaves of the grass. Oh, brilliant. Ants dancing on the mic. Ants dancing on the mic. That's brilliant. Um, um, so we, that anthill was very busy. Very busy. Yeah.
there. There. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what? I I think that I think the one we saw earlier had just loads in it. Yeah. So, so we'll go over to that. Yeah. So lively. Look, there's one right there. Right there. I'm going to try and get it in down here to the denser stuff, which it'll be. Where we had that probe is down there because that seems like happy hunting ground there. Very happy hunting ground. It's extraordinary. Isn't like it just fantastic? And yeah. So, um, Bob, what are these extraordinary microphones? They're, uh, they're contact microphones, so they're not like regular microphones. Regular microphones, you know, act on pressure from the air. So, it, you know, you'll notice when we use the headphones here, we can actually talk. Yes. You know, and you can't actually hear it. So, they're, they're piezo microphones, and they, they basically... Uh, they're hearing vibrations in the sound, so it's actually literally contact. So what we have here is a, a regular contact microphone, which we bought from a great guy in England, Jez Reddy French, and that's a darning needle that I stole from my wife last night. But she, <laughs> kind, but she kindly gave it to me, and it's working a treat here on... Uh, so that is literally a darning needle. Yeah, so the vibrations are traveling up through the, through the darning needle, and also from here, you know, you can hear a little bit when I yeah yeah through the head through the headphones but uh yeah. the vibrations are so any scratching so what we're here so it's a little bit like it's a hunt you know there's nothing in some of them as you're showing it but yeah you know so we're literally if there's a if there's a dung beetle in there any scratching or it's actually traveling through the dung into the needle and into the microphone. The vibration the vi of the, the dung beetle moving and eating exactly. and munching and rubbing against yeah. each other. So those were all the kind of sounds we were yeah. kind of hearing. Little squeal, little scratches. You know, yes. first of all, a lot of the stuff what you're hearing is is uh, just a movement. Uh, you know, a little scratching and things. But we're hearing little squeaks as well. And we're not sure what that is in yeah. you. It's hard to maybe heard, you know, rubs the rub, uh, dung beetles might be yeah. rubbing against yeah. each other or their wings. So little high, little high pitched squeaks. So for, when you put them in first, you know, it's hard to know whether the dung is settling. So what we're kind of listening for is, you know, things that can't be, that they're not random. They're, yeah. they're, you know, they're definitely something is making that sound. And like the ant hill, I mean, we definitely heard the oh, ants, well, the oh, busyness the of the ants. Of yeah. You could yeah. hear the busyness of the ants, and then when you did the potato bug or the wood louse, yeah. you could hear its multiple feet walking across the Absolutely. ground. Absolutely, and we did and the ladybug the spider, climbing, climbing up a little. Uh, I missed blade, that one, but climbing up a little blade of grass, you could hear, you know, all the, the way up. The footprints going up. Yeah, and, and it's then, like uh, the spider. I heard the spider as well. Yeah, absolutely, and you could hear its eight feet going blip blip yeah. blip blip. Yeah. I mean, absolutely extraordinary. Incredible to get so macro. So it's, you know, I think it's amazing for you as well because you're here above the ground. You know what's happening under the ground. But you now know, I can you know hear, I know what it sounds like now. Like, I mean, the ants yeah. were extraordinary. I mean, yeah. that was, it was, uh, but it's so wonderful also to hear what the dung beetles sound oh, like. Oh, it's amazing to see. And the, the incredible thing to say is actually see how many are coming and going. 
Yeah, the you flight, know, the takeoff the, and yeah, landings takeoff are and incredible. Flight, and they're obviously spinning around at whatever way. Is it scent or whatever. It is scent. They go by smell. Yeah. So they, if they, they're they all coming up the wind. Right. So, uh, and yeah. when you're disturbing the dung, as far as I know on the surface of it, when you're disturbing the dung like we've been while you've been putting the mic in, it's disturbing the scent. Of course. Which goes off and that's what attracts the dung beetles that are flying in. Amazing. And kind of going, ooh, there's fresh dung yeah. over there when it's just us stirring the yeah. pot, as it were. Mm. And so. the great thing is to, hear, is to hear the difference between that, the real busy stuff there, and then go down into the, you know, to see the fresh dung, and then the, you know, it's absolutely... And the quiet of the fresh yeah. dung. Yeah, and it's, and it's desiccated then at, the, at yeah. the end. It's completely used up. It's extraordinary. I've never seen anything like it. How the dung beetles really the, you work know, away so because quickly. Because you see a cow pat in the field, for instance, where I was growing up, and it would just dry out, dry out, dry out, dry yeah. out. Yeah. Never seen anything like that, where it just literally is, is eaten completely. Eaten you know, by just, the by the dung beetles. Yeah. 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 Amazing. And this is all for your project? Yeah, this is all for a project called um, that started out called the Sustainment Experiments, and it's um, it's basically um, it's a five-year project that will end up in a film. So part of what Bob and I are doing here today is we're getting we're recording the sound of soil being made, in effect. Um, and over the next six months, I hope we'll be using all sorts of different kinds of microphones yeah. um, and coming again here to do door life. dung beetle other coming life. here to do yeah. door dung beetles also recording like soil for, for, uh, fauna the the plants the, wor the, the worms the worms but also the hopefully uh, if we can get access we're going to or Berlin I hope to um, talk to somebody who's actually recording the micro life of oh the that'll soil. be so fantastic so everything from kind of um the, the i can't remember the the, the, the names of all the yeah. tiny like the spring tiny tails pictures. the spring the black tails, spring tails and, tails and, and, and white and spring tails exactly and exactly but, uh, and potentially even the dung beetle grubs that are underneath because absolutely. when they're, they're moving around large. and they're large so they would make a lot to of all noise the other creatures yeah so so the plan is to to have the soil speak as it were and it needs and to become speak. a character <laughs> within a film which will be eventually produced next year which will also have the voices of farmers who are trying to cope with climate change and with all the the difficulties in producing food sustainably today. Yes. So, um, so it's a very, it's a very big project that has various kind of stages. So, this particular day, the output from this will be going into the Butler Gallery in Kilkenny as part of my residency there. Um, oh look, the dung beetles are all landing on me now too because we've disturbed this bit of dung so much. They're landing on all of us. Sorry, yeah. Butler Gallery, go on. Butler Gallery, so I'll be there for a week, the week after next. So starting on the 3rd of May for four days because it's a bank holiday week. And then on the 5th day, which is a Saturday, uh, we'll be coming here. To yes, to walk on the farm and the farm see and see the farm life and see the soil life on the farm. So Excellent. That's the plan. No, all very, very interesting. And using the different microphones is absolutely fascinating as well. Yeah, there's great research going on in, in all over the world, but particularly in Berlin, there's an artist working with a soil laboratory. They're who, and they're using, they're looking at potential of audio recording systems to diagnose the health of the soil biodiversity. Ah, oh, that is brilliant yeah. news. Yeah. So the amount of activity going on is an indicator of how healthy, healthy the soil is. And the more activity, the yeah. healthier the soil. And the more benchmarks they have for different kinds of soil activity. So. It could be the worms, it could be the dung beetles, but it could also be the kind of micro Well, and the ants and, and the, the exactly. uh, tawny mining bees and yeah. all the creatures yeah. Uh, yeah. above ground fauna that use the soil and add to the fertility and life yeah. of the soil. Yeah. As well as the, the actual 
below ground. And the microbiology. Micro microbiology. And probably, I mean, I'd say the microsial stuff. And well, there will be also the electrical contact it's, it's, between plant root systems through the microsial life. That well, there whole thing. are ways of recording that. <gasps> cool! Amazing. It does turn itself. You know, I've spent most of my time recording kind of atmosphere where we are now, beautiful birds singing in trees in spring. Above ground. And it's almost like that classic sci-fi where the world turns upside down. Yes. You know, and actually there's the same world just underneath our feet, which is just as rich and diverse in as sound. everything that we can see here. So it does, you know, you walk along and it's, it's unusual to hear it underneath it just kind of opens your eyes to what's underneath your feet and, as well and, and, and your ears, healthy soil is depleting at a very rapid rate in the world i think 30 percent of the soils in the world has gone and you know there we we have very little time to halt that decline in soil quality so there's a real urgency about putting this into the public domain now which yeah. is one of the reasons that we're working yeah. on this project. Together. Absolutely. Well, it's all it's all connected. It's it's yeah. farming. It's the soil. It's 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 the ground food, up. It's, food. Everything. It's our food survival weed. as much yeah. as the environment's exactly. survival. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's exactly. sustainable sustainable foods. You know, sustainable meats. Sustainable. You know. Sustainable everything really, but how it can how it can be done, and just listen to your stories as well. And and you know, I could go you know, into my field, which is kind of dairy or, or, or beef field at the back of my house at home, and I could put these microphones down there and I can almost assure you there would be nothing. You'd hear nothing. Whereas here you've hear, heard the crackle and pop of all kinds yeah, of life. Yeah, ants and ladybirds. And, and, we, and we've only just started. We've really only been doing this it for an hour. This is just literally scratching the surface. It, we are literally, this is yeah. true. Very much scratching you know, the uh, surface. So hopefully we'll be able to get a bit de dig deeper. Yeah. Yes. All those soil a rich, metaphors. A rich vein. Definitely. We'll, we'll be back. We yeah, it's good stuff. <laughs>